All right, that's getting a deep high tune. I think I got a silver quarter. I'm pretty sure this is going to be an Indian. Oh, nope. Looks like a weedy. Alright. Alright, got another old penny right here. Might just be another weedy, but it was ringing up off high. This is big for. Yeah, this is not. Not a wheat penny. Hmm, I'm not sure what that is. Uh, let me get this cleaned up. This is an odd sized coin. Let's see what I got here. Alright, I'm not sure what this is. It's pretty much wiped, but it's uh, it's bigger than a penny. So I'm going to have to do a little bit of looking. Maybe I can get some details off of it at home. Alright. Alright, I think I got a nickel here. It's probably going to be an old one because it was deep and it was a jumpy signal. Um, and yeah, I just threw it back in the hole. I'm hoping for a shield nickel. I haven't dug a shield yet this year. Are you kidding me? <laughs> it's just a Jefferson. Man, I would have sworn it was going to be an older nickel. Alright. Alright, checking out a new park. Looks like we got a silver. Can be a mark there, huh? 1941. Alright. Alright, looks like I got a coin or a button here. I was ringing up in the 70s. It's probably 70s on the desk, too. It's probably an Indian head. Yep. Sure he is. That is, let's see here, 1890, all right, good deal. All right, it's getting pretty dark over here. I uh, went short a hand and high tuned right on the edge of the sidewalk. I was getting it one way and not the other and dug it out and I got myself 1927 Merc. Alrighty, good deal. Okay, alright, I'm checking out an old former house site here. It looks like I got a deep silver. That is Rosie. 1952. Alright, good deal. Just got started on it, so hopefully there'll be more. Alright, it's getting a choppy uh, nickel signal. I've been over this site. I don't know how many times and uh, still find stuff. I just updated the DAS 2 and so far I am liking 1.1 update uh, customized park program. This one's got tacoed. It may be at Jefferson. I don't know. We'll find out though. Oops. Yeah, I believe it's just a Taco Jefferson. It's still uh, gives me a lot of confidence in this new um, new upgrade. Because, so like I said, I've been over this site lots and lots and lots, and a lot of iron in here. So hopefully, it'll turn out to be a good program. All right, all right. I think I might have a little button here. Which one it is. I found them like this here before. They're like a little dome button. Alright. 
Alright, not sure what I got here. Let's see around this. Looks like a sew on button of some type or another. Yep, that's what it is. I'll have to get it cleaned up, get a better look at it. Looks like an older style one. But that's what it is. Alright. All right, in an old park today. Looks like I got a nickel down in here. Yep, it's just a Jefferson. Alright. Alright, looks like I got either an old penny or a button here. That's a coin, that's a penny. Probably an Indian, the way it was ringing. Mm. It looks like a weedy. Just ringing up, or... There's the back, and there's Lincoln there somewhere. Looks like... Alright. Alright, I think I've got part of a broken cradle bell here. Yeah, that's exactly what that is. Looks like it's been an old one too. One of the older designs. Shame it's broke, but I'm glad to find it and it's me now I'm on the old stuff. Alright, got another coin here. This is probably another weedy. You're ringing up about like one. Oh, nope. It's a memorial. Alright. Alright, probably got on something old here to really dry out. This is actually a little bit um, moisture in this area underneath this tree than what it is most places. And real jumpy signal here, but I think I got an Indian head. Pretty sure it's what it is. Looks like 19 something, but I'm gonna get a toothpick on it and I'll be right back. Alright, cleaned it up a little bit. It's a 1907. Alright. Alright, I think I got something interesting here. At first I thought it was a clad quarter, but I think this is a token. Good for two years of property in Ohio. Wow. Huh. I am not sure what that is. I've never seen that before. This is a property tax or no, it says luck pocket lucky pocket piece. Cooper lucky pocket piece. That's pretty cool. Never found one of those. Alright. Alright, looks like I got a gold ring here. Checking out an old park. Looks like a wedding band. Let's see if I can get a mark on it here. Get you off here for a second and I'll get back on when I find a mark. Okay, the mark is right in there. It's hard to see. Uh, but yeah, right there. 10K. It's got some other stuff on it too. I'll have to look and see what we got. Alright, good deal. Alright, we got an Indian head penny here. It looks like a 1902. It's good shape. Flipped out a big coin here. I think I got a large. Oh no.
not sure what this is. All right, I'll get it cleaned up and I'll get a good video of it. All right, all right. Just flip. Let me turn this pin pointer off. Uh, just flip this out. I think I got a two-piece button right here. Pretty sure that's what it's going to be. Oh. It's got some gold gilt on it. Don't want to rub it too hard. Uh, I'm gonna get this cleaned up, see what it's got on here. It's got some kind of design. Get right back with you. Okay, it looks like it's some kind of a floral type design on it. Full shank. Alright. Alright, looks like a silver coin here. I think it's gonna be a rosy. Yep. And I'll take it. Alright. Good deal. Alright. Looks like I got a silver coin. There's the edge of it. Let's see what we got here. Oh, it's a barber. Sweet. 1908. Awesome. Good way to start the afternoon. One done. Good deal. Alright, that's getting a deep high tune. I think I got a silver quarter here. Oh, this is a seated quarter. For sure. Yes, it sure is. Oh, sweet. Check that puppy out. Wow. Was not expecting that today. I'm going to spray this thing off and see what I got here. See what year. Okay. It looks to be a 53. I see the arrow out to the side. I'm almost positive it's a 53. 1853. That puppy is sweet. First uh, seated quarter I've ever found. So I am tickled to death with that. So, Alright. Good deal. Okay. Got it from way down in there. I don't know what I got here. It looks kind of like a... Oh no, it's a ham weight. <laughs> I was gonna say it looks like a size of a large scent, but it was weighing up or ringing up lower, so that explains why it was ringing up lower. It's a old ham weight piece of lead they used to use the way down their hems of their dresses. All right, all right, going along here, doing some detecting. An old park, and I just flipped out a Merc. This thing is just barely under the surface. I don't know if I can find the imprint here or not. It was just barely under there. So, I don't know. It's kind of like a drainage here. So it may have washed out. Looks like a 24. Alright. Good deal. Alright, still hunting on this drainage ditch here. I think I got another silver. I saw it fall back in the hole. I think it's a quarter. It went in there somewhere. Yep, there it is. Yep. 42. Alright. New mint mark. Good deal. Alright. All I got on something I think is old. I think this is an Indian head. Yep. Probably a weedy. Yep. Alright. Alright, and I'm in an old park again, my favorite, and it looks like I got a silver, looks like a silver dime. That's a Washington, or um, I mean a Roosevelt. Alright, good deal. Alright, looks like I got another silver coin right here. There's the edge of it. To Merc. All right, I'll spray this one off. It's pretty credited. Alright, 
looks like a 39. Alright, good deal. Alright, I got a coin down here. This is a low 80s, high 70s. It's probably going to be an Indian head. Nope. There's some Lincoln there on that side. Oops. It's probably weedy then. Yep, that's what it is. Alright. Alright, I got a green penny here. If it's gonna be a wheat, yep, I can already see the one cent on it. Right there. Looks like a. I think it might be a 1942. Alright. Alright, been a while since I've done a uh, cleanup video, so I figured I'd go ahead and do one here. Um, this has been over the last couple months. Uh, combined hunts, parks, various sites. Uh, this is a bunch of clad I found, ran through the tumbler, and then got a whole big pile of relics here. Uh, little play shirts, badge. Some old spoons, uh, this thing here, which I think was off of a, uh, I think that might have, might have been part of a decorative piece for like a horse tack or something. I had these two little things attached on each end. There's another one in there somewhere. Lipstick holder. Uh, this little buckle here. I'm not sure what type of buckle this is even, but it's pretty cool. I don't imagine it's too terribly old. Um, old clay pipe stem. Uh, part of an old watch. This little thing here, which I think might have been some kind of a like, uh, I am not positive on that, but some kind of a strap or some metal strap or something. Then a, this would have been a, I believe a candlestick holder. I think that's what that was. And then this old latch here. Some pretty cool stuff. An old Ford tag, keychain tag. Some mar a marble. There's various things. An old pocket knife. And some other odds and ends. And then we'll get into the good stuff here. Found a few little sewing buttons. Part of a broken cradle bell. Been a nice one. Uh, this uh, thing here, I'm not exactly sure what that is. I think it's like a, I think that has something to do with like um, an ambulance or something. I don't know. I, I'm really clueless on that one. Then I found this nice flat button here with some designs on it and full shank on it. This little ball button here. And then found uh, this little thing in fairgrounds. I think that's a marijuana leaf. Uh, a bunch of wheat pennies, some Indian heads. Nothing spectacular. I think the oldest one, like I think the oldest one's like an 1890. These two are 1902 and 1907. Little cross pendant. This little thing here. It's made out of lead. Uh, broken off here at the base. This cool little token for a uh governor um he was a uh a candidate for governor of state of ohio says good for two years of prosperity in ohio this um philippines uh, one peso coin and then this liberty uh freedom train pennant which is pretty cool it's got some some writing on there i looked one up online i can't remember exactly what it says but basically it's talking about uh good thing for independence day it's um which is when i'm recording this it's a uh like i said a freedom train pennant 
Then we'll get into the good stuff. I believe this is a V-nickel. It's just worn down to nothing. Um, did find a gold ring. It's 14 karat. Oh, I've got a hair there. Uh, 14 karat gold ring. It says in there somewhere. Or I take it back. It's a 10 karat. It's got some kind of maker's mark there, but I can't exactly tell what it says. I think it's like a TW. Yeah, a TW. Then I found four Mercs, a 1924, a 27, a 41, and a 39. Got four Roosevelts, a 47, a 56, a 52. Got a Washington Quarter, 42. Got a Barber Dime, a 1908, and then I got my first seated quarter, which was an 1853 with rays and arrows. I was pretty excited about finding that. And, uh, like I said, here's the Barber Dime. It's in pretty good shape, no mint mark. So, all in all, it hasn't been a terribly bad stretch for the last two months. So, it's kind of going to get into my slow time now. Uh, it is into my slow time. It's I'm not much for yard permissions or anything, so I may try to get some here and there, but... I like to hunt uh, old parks, fairgrounds, stuff like that. And I don't like to dig when it gets real dry out and leave a bunch of dead spots in the grass. So I kind of am selective about where I hunt, especially private property. Um, but that's about it. Hopefully I can have another video up here in a month or two and with some other good finds on it. Thanks for watching.